What is up, geeks? It's time for another Smuggler's Bounty exclusive review, another Star Wars Pop Vinyl review, and this guy might even show up in Rogue One, a Star Wars story coming out in a little under two months, so I'm very excited for that. I love this guy. He was only in one Star Wars episode. He is Grand Moff Tarkin, and he was he showed up in Episode 4, A New Hope. So I he looks really cool. I love his pose, and we're going to get into all those details in just a little bit. But let's first take a look at the box. So we have this nice image of him with the defined cheekbones that made him very famous. He's number 159. And in the back you can also see that we have Darth Vader Best Bin, which I will be reviewing next. So that's very, very cool. So let's unbox this guy and take a closer look at the figure. <laughs> All right, we got Grand Moff Tarkin out of the packaging, and he looks so intimidating. I really love the way he looks. I love his pose. He looks very good. I think they did a well-done job on this guy, um, considering all the paint and everything, and definitely sculpting out those famous cheekbones that he has that makes him look so intimidating. So I'm glad that they kept that in. It looks really great. It's not too much, and it's just subtle enough that you can pick up on it but it's it's great it's a great look on him loving the clean eyebrows the eyes and they did a great job with his hair too all the sculpted lines over here it looks very good and then they have him posed with his hands in his back so that looks pretty cool it's a pretty simple look i mean his costume isn't that extravagant and i do like how they colored in his, um, you know, this is his ranking here. So they did pretty well on that. It's, you know, it's very small, so I can forgive the little bit of sloppiness here. It's not extremely clean, which would have been nice, but, you know, you'd have to really take the time with a small, small brush to get that perfect. But it looks like, as you can see, like one of these yellow boxes um, is actually bleeding into one of the red ones over here but that's like very that's like nitpicky and I, I'm not that kind of person so I do like it a lot I'm glad that they had that in there that's very important to his look he looks so good I really like it and it's gonna look great having Vader with him as well and when I do the Vader review I'll definitely um, do a comparison of the two and how they look like with each other now this does come up with the patented Star Wars stand, which it always does. Of course, it's a bobblehead. And this is easily removable here. Uh, I do like his shiny boots. It's um, This is just an FYI to you guys. He actually didn't have shiny boots in the movies. So technically, based off his character, this is how he would have looked. But we only see him at a certain point like... You're not even at the knees. We see him only above the waist in the movies. And you will notice that because he was not wearing any boots. I think he just wants, wanted to be comfortable. He knew that he wouldn't be seeing past his waist. So he actually wore like... I think he just wore like uh, slippers or something like that. Um, I could be completely wrong, but I just know that he wasn't wearing boots. I think it was just like slippers. But uh, that's the little, you know, Star Wars fact for you guys. I hope you liked this review, and please stay tuned for the Darth Vader Best Spin one coming up soon. And of course, some more Rogue One pop vinyl figures to review as well. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. Embrace, express, and enjoy yourself. May the Force be with you always. My young Padawan.